This is every nuke that's ever been in a Call of Duty, starting off with Modern Warfare 2. Look at little Ali in my original setup going for that classic nuke. I remember me and all my friends at school racing to try and get 10 nukes first so we could get that nuke emblem and show it off to everyone. Oh, this is a free for all. It's a pretty bold mode to go for a nuke. If you get a little kill streak at the beginning, more than five and then you die you physically don't have enough kills left to actually get the new kill streak but here i am with the pavlo with the harrier and let's not forget back in the day all of those kills from the kill streaks also go towards the nuke i am stacking up kills here silenced ak i did oh there it is the beautiful 25 kill streak in the very first call of duty to have a nuke i'm still dropping people and in it comes. If you've ever had a nuke in any Call of Duty, hit the like button on that video as we're going from the Modern Warfare 2 nuke straight into the Modern Warfare 3 nuke. Again, free for all. Gotta admit, this really was my favorite mode ever. I loved just putting my headphones on, chilling, recording live commentaries, and only having to think about me and shooting every single person I saw. Modern Warfare 3 obviously had specialist, no kill streaks helping me towards this Moab here. Oh no, I have got myself, I can't even remember the name of this SMG, but this thing with a silencer on it and gold camo absolutely dominates people. And there goes the specialist bonus. With the specialist bonus, all of the perks were applied. If you've got pro perks, they were applied. And during this period, some of the YouTubers smashing out Moabs would be getting two, three, four Moabs in a single game. I don't know how they did it. The closest I ever got was maybe almost two Moabs in a game. But I don't think I ever actually pulled it off. Here, though, someone could spawn behind you. I do notice I've got my little mini radar down. That is super OP. So I know someone's right there. Can literally run straight at them. And we are over halfway to a Moab. Now, I personally think getting these kill streaks probably got harder and harder. The original nuke back in the day when Modern Warfare 2 servers were filled also felt pretty tough. But the quality of Call of Duty player that you got as the years have gone on. Everyone seems to be amazing. And let's not forget skill-based matchmaking. Making sure that getting those high kill streaks isn't going to be easy either. This is actually on the DLC Modern Warfare 3 map. I got quite a few Moabs on these DLC maps. And there it is. 24 kills because of the specialist bonus. Taking away one of the kills you needed. Making it just that little bit easier. And moving on to Ghosts. Oh my gosh, a lot of people in, uh, when this was out did not like the game. But a lot of people, whenever I talk to them now about Ghosts, always say that they look back on it super, super fondly. I'm also rocking specialist here. My sensitivity was really high. I think if someone put me on a sensitivity now, I would be all over the place. Isn't free for all for once. Ali, still in the same setup. Holy cow, this must have been like 10 years ago. The beaver haircut going strong and no, just because all of the kill streak pop-ups and all the elimination pop-ups were white doesn't mean that I'm in a private game or anything. That's just what it looked like in Call of Duty Ghosts. Going in, oh, oh, look, mate, my accuracy was pretty solid. The rainbow zebra camo on a 20 kill streak going for those extras that I need. Was it, what was it called in this game? Was it a nuke? Or was it something different? I guess we're about to find out. There's so many different names for all of the different nukes across all of the Call of Duties ever. I did really like Ghost. I absolutely loved Free For All. KM Strike! That is it. And a cheeky little knife kill as well. Calling it in. Game almost over. Oh, gun game, free for all in Call of Duty Ghosts. If you ever watch my videos back then, shout out to you. That time was so much fun. Moving on to Advanced Warfare. This gets a lot of hate as well, but I think the jump in quality of graphics from Ghost to this game, game looked incredible. But this game did introduce a huge, huge focus on skill-based matchmaking. I'm not going to rant about it too much, but my goodness, if you had a lot of eliminations and kills and were highly ranked on your account, everyone that you came up against was absolutely cracked. We've got 
barely any ammo. Luckily, we've got a secondary weapon to switch out to, working our way towards that big kill streak. I believe this was the introduction of, yeah, the MP40, I think, must have been in pretty much every Call of Duty at this point here. UAVs in the air, making this a little bit easy. I remember the old kill streaks, you could hack people's um, radars, so they couldn't see anything. And the movement just made it so different to any Call of Duty we'd had before. DNA bomb! I don't think I ever got a DNA bomb. A 30 kill streak. <gasps> and the game ended. It didn't even manage to come in. That is gutting. Okay, just saw it in the ending lobby. That is a lot of green goop everywhere. On to infinite warfare. Look, don't hate me. Some people like all Call of Duties. I'm putting this one at the bottom of my list. It ju I just wasn't for me. The kill time was way too quick. The movement was manic. If you were kind of fast-paced manic player, you would have loved this game. But we are going for that beautiful new kill streak yet again. I'm loving the camo here. Five away from a de-atomizer. I think I got really close, but I don't think I ever managed to get one. Three away. I love the countdown. That just makes it even more tense. At least you have to be checking the leaderboard all the time. A number of times I tried to check what kill streak. Oh, no, Lee. No way. I'll be panicking so much right now. He's trying to reload. He's trying to reload. Dude, mate, respect for that. I would have lost my cool and there was no way I would have won that gunfight. Wall climbing around the map. I love this map, to be fair. Back in Infinite Warfare. Little nuke cooling in. Looking good. Two more seconds to go. And we are over halfway through. So many more nukes to come. In fact, if you want me to go for a nuke on any of these Call of Duties, let me know which Call of Duty you'd like to see it on. Give it a thumbs up. Maybe I'll jump back on the original Modern Warfare 2, getting ready for the new Modern Warfare 2. We're on World War 2. And look, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it straight up. Don't get me wrong, that's a really nice four-piece. But these players are literally looking in the air. And specialist bonus, I think, came out after the game had been out for a little bit. And look at all those perks they've got on the right-hand side there. And uh, a lot of these players are questionable. You, there's a lot of rumors of reverse boosting in Call of Duty where you'd make your account purposely bad when skill-based matchmaking became such a big thing. Okay, there's also zombies on the map. What the? I never played Call of Duty with zombies on the map as well. V2 Rocket, cool it in, baby. A lot of these games, to be fair, I did actually get the kill streaks in, but a lot of them was in like an infected mode or something. Does that count? An infected new, an infected deatomizer? I think it does. And modern warfare. This game, I surely just took Call of Duty and made it feel like beautiful, fast paced, exciting, but also like the, a classic Call of Duty game all in one. Watching this genuinely makes me want to jump back on Modern Warfare, ahead of Modern Warfare 2. And also just reminds me of the original Warzone days. Get that tactical nuke in. That's right. We don't, we don't know if he's deatomizer, DNA bomb, KEM. Just call it a tactical nuke. That's exactly what it is. Will it be in Modern Warfare 2? Modern Warfare 2 V2 coming out this year. It's got to be. It will be. And I've got to go for one. Let's ignore the fact that I've got a <laughs> baby on the way and I won't be able to play too much. But I'll, I'll go for one for you guys. Make sure you subscribe to see that. But there are so... Bro. Literally got a freaking nuke going off. Okay, that's the coolest one I've seen. Got to admit, that looks satisfying. Moving on into Cold War. I genuinely did really like this game. It's where actually this channel started was the beta for Cold War. I found it really satisfying. Treyarch put their name to this game, but I believe they came in quite late to try and save it. And it did feel like a Treyarch game, but it also just felt like it was a little bit rushed and they came in towards the end to try and finish the game off. This is a beautiful kill streak going down. That SMG obliterating people at all different ranges. 28 streak. I gotta admit, I, 
I look back at Cold War and I did kind of enjoy it. Everyone's got their own opinions, and I know that Call of Duty definitely has some heated ones. Get that nuke in again. Calling it an actual nuke. You love to see it. That's what it is. Get it in, and he's still absolutely slaying out. Oh my gosh, the other oppositions have absolutely no chance. Let's have a look at the animation. Oh my goodness. Everyone gets destroyed, no one left alive. And end of the game. Leading into Vanguard, the current Call of Duty. I've got to admit, when this came out, me and the boys, me and my mates, we'd jump on and we would sesh this for hours. Maybe it was the idea of getting really excited to rank up all the guns, ready for the Warzone integration. But also the kill streaks were pretty good in this game. Getting dogs in, getting all of your kill streaks rolling, VSAT. When you call those in and you're obliterating the opposition, there isn't much of a better feeling than that. Now, I definitely have not got myself the new calling in kill streak on this game, unfortunately. We've also covered loads of seasons of this game here on the channel as well. I did actually get really, really close. To getting a new kill streak on this game, I don't think I was recording. It does make me feel like I need to jump back on all the games that I never got a nuke just to say that I've done it. If 2009 Ali A was told that you wouldn't get a nuke on every Call of Duty, I'd be disappointed in myself. This guy's absolutely obliterating these guys. They seem absolutely clueless. Oh my gosh. You can see all of the enemies far, uh, spawning in on the minimap in that back corner, and everyone is cannon fodder for this guy. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, he's got it. He's got it. Call it in. Mega kill. That, my friend, in your sixth number keyboard kill streak is the beautiful nuke on Call of Duty Vanguard. V2 Rocket. As they also called it a V2 Rocket in this one as well. In it comes. Oh my gosh, he's finally dead. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. Everything gets obliterated. Guys, you want to see me jump back on the original Modern Warfare 2 and go for a nuke before the new Modern Warfare 2 comes out, make sure you're subscribed. You can see more Call of Duty videos on screen right now. This has got me hyped to play some Call of Duty. I'll see you on another video.